I finally got the new champion, Omega Reg, from the content creators program, and now we're going to find out about him. We'll start with the bio. Basically, they made this crazy Cold War soldier, and he was really scary, so they sealed him away, and then the hand woke him up because they really wanted to kill Wolverine and the X-Man. Woohoo! Yay! I feel like this is the same background we use a lot on Millions, and maybe we should kind of, like, I don't know, work on that. <laughs> Uh, for abilities, we'll start with the SIG ability. It's lethal dose. It's activated with more than 10 death spores and it determines the damage based on your SIG ability. It's also a chance for tentacle hits to be unblockable. His passive, he's poison immune. He takes decreased bleed damage and tentacle hits disable passive on hit damage. Uh, tentacle hits are uh, medium hits, the end of a light combo or special abilities. Death Factor adds a stack of Death Spore every half second you're near him and loses a stack every 0.15 you're not. It isn't affected by ability accuracy, requires an aggressive playstyle, and takes, uh, I think you can max stack at 20 baseline, although there are some things that increase and decrease that. Death Spores reduce armor rating and ability to purify debuffs, and Death Spores struggle really hard against robot and mech champs, which become one of the ways you can actually counter him. Uh, for Death Field, when you're bleeding, he passively degenerates opponents based on the number of Death Spore stacks. Also, a 10 second trigger for special 2 is Death Field, and you can increase your max stacks to 30. Uh, yeah, that's kind of what I want to say about that. His he heavy attack inflicts degen um, based on your sick level, uh, and during the degen, they don't expire. Death Spores don't expire when you're out of range, so you can only add them, you can't take them away. Next up will be attributes and stats. I, uh, I really don't use the attributes and stats for much, but I included it in the video because not everybody has access to looking at one and some of the mathing abilities I think are important to use the attribute stats for. Okay, we'll look at the specials. First one is draining experience, removes all the spores you have on him and life steals based on the number of stacks you have. That's what it looks like. Uh, number two is death field. It's a passive degen based on spore stacks. It's the same as what happens when he gets bled. Uh, I actually didn't record it for a full 10 seconds. I probably should have just so you could see the full amount, but this is uh, what it looks like. Purple buff and the uh, L3 is Tentacle Terror. It removes all spore stacks and steals life and power. It's based on the sick level and the number of death spore stacks you have on as, at the time. Uh, I use Winter Soldier. A couple of the other content creators did some really cool mathing uh, based on what you know about Winter Soldier, but I did not. <laughs> it looks really cool. Um, but doesn't do a shit ton of damage all at once. Uh, yeah, there you go. You can see it, it gives it. It's 3.3% of current power, which doesn't appear to be affected by the sick level, but this uh, lifesteal does get affected by sick level. Next up, we are going to look at synergies. The first one is Metal Mayhem. Uh, Omega Red get, uh, gets increased crit damage based on his stacks. Wolvie gets stronger bleeds and more crit. And Colossus gets increased attack rating, which he desperately needs. Mutamat did a really cool thing uh, on that on his blog, although I don't think anyone's going to use OR to buff Colossus exclusively. X Assassins, uh, Omega Red gets uptime for Death Spores. Deadpool X Force gets increased power gain against bleed opponents. And Sabretooth gets increased chance to cause bleed with basic claw. Seeing Red is the Red Champs. Omega Red block parries uh, inflict a spore stack, spore stack, up to 30 of them. Red Skull buffs his heavy, heavy attack to get unstoppable, and Red Hulk increases his power rating against incinerated targets. Deadly Presence, uh, Omega Red increased death field damage, Mephisto increased aura damage, and Void gets increased intimidating present damage. Um, so basically for Omega Red, his strengths include um, his ability to stop purification, which includes Crossbones, AV, and other champions. Um, he, he is poison immune, so he's good against poison champions. His bleed champs, um, he's not bleed immune, but he takes almost no damage. It does leave the bleed on him, um, and, and the champs against him take more damage because it helps increase uh, his death field, which we talked about earlier. And then finally, his tentacle ability, which is medium tax, light combos, and specials by bypass on hit defense abilities. Um, the developers mentioned Killmonger and Korg. I also thought of Quake and Electro because those are both mentioned in AQ, and those are some things that you might use the champion for. Some of the weaknesses are that robots are resistant to death spores, um, including Ultron and Sentinel. I bring that up because uh, those are some champions you encounter a lot in AQ, so you may not take them to AQ for that reason. Depends on what... Uh, uh, what level you're doing or what line you're doing. Uh, I also think that the skill cap requires a pretty significant comfort level to get a lot of damage. It's longer fights specifically. It takes a long time to build up your spores and use them to do damage. Um, but I do think that if you know what you're doing, it's probably pretty worth it. So hey, thanks for watching my Omega Red. Uh, you can leave me some comments in, or questions in the comments of the video. It was nice seeing you again. Thanks guys. Bye.